Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. What messages do you have for the collective when it comes to love and romance? Wow, look how beautiful these cards are. Um, this is the Separation Oracle Edition 4 by Pretty Psyche. Um, you're incomparable. There's something about your energy, man. I don't know why, but every time I do these collective readings, I get this like this burst of energy, right? There's something very raw and something very real about you. You have this energy where you're unapologetically you through and through, you know, to the core. What people see is what they get. This is an energy that um, you're able to stand on your own two, two feet. And I feel like this person really does admire you. They admire you because you know, the way that you carry yourself, right? The way that you're very dynamic, you're passionate. You know, there's this sense of excitement that comes with you. You're a firecracker. And I think that you've come into their life and you've created this sudden or unexpected change. You're like this major catalyst um, for, for change in this person's, the key word that keeps coming in is change. I don't know why, and change is not even on this card, but it's like, you've changed me. This person is looking at you from a completely different perspective going, wow, they want me. You've really opened this person up. And the way that you go about things in your life, it's like you move with this sense of fluidity. And I feel like with your person, they have a lot of restrictions or there's always a reason why they can't, but you're the reason why they can. There's this sense of positivity, your intuition, your honesty, the fact that you've been very loyal to this person. And they, they're watching you. And over this period of time, they're watching how your character has developed. They are watching how you've begun to change, how you've gone through this major metamorphosis, who you are now, it's like you're always changing. And there's these beautiful layers that this person continues to pull back. And believe it or not, but the more that you love yourself, the more that you demand from this person, this person is recognizing your own worth. It's almost like that analogy where if somebody, if you go to the store and there's a beautiful, you know, watermelon and you get it and however it's five or 10 bucks, I don't know how much watermelon is right now, but you go, you get it, right? When you open it up and it's amazing, you're not like, let me go back to the store and give them an extra $5 because this watermelon is bomb. No, you give exactly what you're asking for. So by you increasing your value with this person, by you setting the bar higher, it's looking at you as this high value energy where this person is saying, you know what? They do deserve this. Why won't I give that? And it's forcing this person to elevate to your frequency and also pushing them into a major um, transformation, which I think is beautiful. And they're, they're acknowledging here that you're the one that started it, especially with your incomparable. No one compares to you. No one will compare to you. I find you beautiful with or without makeup. And for the men that are watching, this person finds you very attractive, period. Inside and out, it's an energy that you have the ability to exude. This person loves the way you think, they love your mind, your imagination, your creativity, all of that makes you so attractive to this person. You have this energy where it's almost like if I fail, I fail. I'm okay with that, but I'm going to keep going until I do it right. This person is acknowledging that you're the one person in their life that never gave up on them. You're the one person that continued to encourage them even when they were down. You've really inspired this person to think differently. You've inspired this person to go into this different type of energy. And there's something about you where you're this old, beautiful soul. You have this sense of refinement, this sense of taste, and a beautiful sense of culture. Your style, the way that you, you handle yourself, the way that you smell. There's something about you where I feel like when you first met this person, they were enamored by you, but I don't think that they truly understand the, they understood the complexity of who you were. And for some of you guys, I don't even know if you if you knew the significance of your story or of your journey. 
This is something that kind of develops over time. And your energy is coming in as one that purifies, right? And I feel like with this person, they may have fought this connection because you were requiring them to elevate, whether it was consciously or subconsciously. And there's something here where there's like a major cultivation. I don't know why, but I get like with this person in the past, in the last reading, they were in this weird fork in the road where they were definitely in their head and they were having to make a choice or they were having to make a decision. There's something about this person's perspective and direction changing where they're having this major moment of truth. And this is a major turning point, I feel like, in your situation because this person is really, it's almost like they woke up and they're like, wow, they're the one. What have I been doing? What have I been seeing? Why did I push this away? I want to prove to you that I do love you. This is somebody that may not be great with words, or this is somebody where you need this person to tell you that they love you. You may be the person that always tells them you love them, and maybe they reply, or maybe they don't. But this person knows, like, they have a lot to prove to you. Over the years, over the time, over the time that's passed between you, they feel like they've not given to the relationship in the manner that you have. And I feel like with this person, they're, they're, I don't know why, but I get that they're looking at all of the fine details. It's almost coming in as like Virgo energy or Sagittarius energy or Gemini energy where they're examining. There's something here where this person is taking a very deep dive. They're trying to look closer and figuring out, you know, who you really are. And they're paying attention. They're no longer assuming with you. And they're taking this deep dive into these hidden emotions and they're reading between the lines. They're realizing they need to take this action towards you, right? Because you're this wish granted. It's coming in almost like Aries energy. Because they know, it's like, it's like you're, you're, you're very special to them. It's like when you look up in the sky and you see a shooting star. You don't always see shooting stars. There's something very special about you. And this is a moment in time. It's almost like everything is kind of aligning in the perfect, um, perfect, I don't even know how to explain it. I just get all the stars are aligning at the right time. And this person, for some reason, there's this light that's being um, directed upon you. And this person is looking at you like you're somebody that's brilliant. They're emotional right now, you know? They feel like in the past they've been very stubborn, right? They've been very childish. You may have been dealing with a Peter Pan, right? It's time to grow up, Peter Pan. Who, if they wanted your attention, they would act out in a negative sense. But I really do feel like you've awakened this person to the simple things and this person is realizing that you are their destiny and they don't wanna lose you. They wanna prove to you, I am here. I don't want the consequences of not being together. This is divine will. This is something that's the inevitable. This is a destined energy. You coming into their life has caused this major divine intervention. And they're very lucky and very fortunate to have you. But now this person is having this almost a spiritual insight with who you are. You've given them faith when they needed it. You prayed for them when they didn't pray for themselves. You've given them the strength during times where they felt like giving up. You were kind to them when they were mean or weak or, or not a good person to you. You always overly expressed yourself and you said the things that the person needed to hear and it was the truth. And I feel like you've really motivated this person and this person is in an energy where I can never pay you back for what you've done in my life and how much you've changed me because they value you. They know that this is a divine connection. And I feel like whoever this person is, they feel like it's owed to you to show you how much they truly love you, to show you how much they truly care about you, to show you how much you know you really do mean to, to them. I wanna plan a trip for me and you. Yeah, this person wants to get away with you. They wanna spend some alone time with you, just you and them. 
they've been thinking about it. You know, where you guys met, where you guys should go on vacation. You know, um, they're, they're, they're really sitting here imagining themselves with you, what it would look like to wake up next to you, what it would look like to have you by their side. What would this look like, this energy? And I feel like this person wants to put forth, right, the necessary actions in order to prove to you how special and how important you are to them and the fact that they really do love you. Whoever this person is, they want to spend time with you and your family. Also, too, the way you dress makes me insecure. This person has insecurities with your looks, right? You're beautiful with or without makeup. They may feel like physically they don't compare to you. Even if they're very attractive and you're sitting there going, why would they think that? They're very attractive. They have this, they have that. But it's something about your energy that is different and they feel like you draw in a lot of attention, which is normal when you have a very bright and abundant type of spirit. I just get that with this person, you know, there is insecurities that have stopped them or held them back in the past. And I feel like it made them uncomfortable because they didn't know why you chose them. I, for some of you, this person may have even said like, why me? Why do you love me? Why do you want me? You can have anybody. But I also get with this energy with, I plan, I, I want to plan a trip with you and I want to prove to you that I do love you. You know, this person has to go really, really deep and have this self observation at this zero point where they're examining, right? They're exploring this unconscious mind. Why do I feel like I don't deserve this? Why do I feel like I don't deserve love? And in this absence or in this void of your energy, because for some of you, you're not in contact with this person, they, they have this desire to know. They're in this self-reflective type of energy where them disconnecting from you is allowing them to get more in touch with who they are through their deep thoughts, through subliminal messaging. And I feel like for those of you guys um, right now, I feel like there's a lot of you that are standing your ground and really standing in your power and you're not giving it away. And you increasing your self-worth, you increasing how you view yourself, it's also forcing this person to see you in a different light because again, I feel like your energy is now... Um, obviously incomparable but like how do you put a price on something that's amazing you can't so this person knows i have to change because this person is standing their ground wow i want you to meet my family this person they've been thinking a lot about you and about the connection and if they have children would their children like you or you know their mom or their dad like, they feel like that's the next step. It's to really get to know your family. And for some of them that have already met your family, they just want to take a deep dive. Like, they want to make sure your family likes them. They want to make sure that, that, that they make a good um, impression on your family. I do believe we have a special connection. Yeah, man. See... This person knows the significance of your relationship, right? There's something about you where you've really helped ground this person. You've cared for them. You've been very secure. You've always been who you are through and through. You're very nurturing, right? And I feel like with this person, they've never had a connection like, like this. And in this connection, they may feel powerless, right? They may feel very vulnerable, almost like your love has paralyzed them in some sense. For some of your people, they felt like it was almost temptation, like take the bait or that, you know, what's the catch here, I feel like. But now they're realizing that the catch is you're their luck, you're their prosperity, you're very resourceful and abundant. And there's something about you where not only are you this person's best friend or can be their best friend, but you're also their lover. And you've been this way through and through and they're looking at you like you are a blessing from God or a blessing from the universe. This is source. 
This is an unending connection. It's infinite. They feel that. This is an eternal, right? They're going through this major awakening where they're realizing everything is connected. It's the butterfly effect. They're seeing the higher perspective. They're getting the bigger picture when it comes to you. They're realizing that all, all that is, is one. It's ultimately going back to the, to the law of one. They keep going back to you. Everything leads back to you. Even when you guys break up to make up, everything leads back to you. And they're sitting here going, there's a circular reason as to why this, why do I keep coming back to this? Why do I keep getting redirected back to this person? This is person is in an energy where they're tired of always trying to swim upstream. They're finally ready just to go with the flow. Go with the redirection of their life because things are changing significantly within this person, which I think is beautiful. Wow. I'm going to propose to you soon. I mean, just these cards alone, right? Just these cards alone. I want to prove to you that I love you and I'm going to propose to you soon. This is somebody 100% that feels like you're not expecting this. This is an unexpected surprise, an unexpected gesture. And the reason that this person is having this major awakening is because they're acknowledging your connection. They're acknowledging that they're never going to find somebody like you. They feel like the two of you guys were made for each other. You and this person are mirroring one another. And I feel like with this person, they feel like the next step in, in your guys' situation is to enter into a committed relationship. I'm going to propose to you soon. That may be a physical proposal for some of you guys, or this could be this person saying, you know what? I think we should be together. I think that we should try this again. You know, I never really gave this relationship a chance. I, I, I was scared to take a risk. This is somebody who wants to take this risk. This is somebody who feels like you guys were made for one another. This person has been in their head about, you know, the situation, about going very slow and very steady. And in the past, I feel like there was a lot of conflicts. But the one thing about your connection is even through all of these conflicts and delays and, um, you know, just unnecessary energy, What's come from this is that this person feels like they can't escape you. Why do they keep running from this connection? Why don't they just try to give into it and see what happens? Because running from it only makes it worse. This person is acknowledging that. I won't let anyone or anything come in between me and you. I like this energy, right? It's a protective energy. It's an energy saying like, I, I know you and I have an amazing connection. And in the past, this person has allowed other people to come in and dictate your relationship, dictate their perception on you, dictate the view of what they should or what they shouldn't do. But now this person is regaining their control. Now this person is standing up to those people that have something negative to say to you or those people that didn't like you or were jealous of the connection. This person is standing up and saying, no, you're not gonna talk about my person like that. I don't care who you are. I don't care how long I've known you. I don't care if you've been my friend for 20 years. This person is beginning to also awaken to the fact that there's a lot of people that are very jealous of your connection. And it could even be people that, that they're best friends with that pretended to be happy for this person. But in reality, they were only happy as long as this person was doing what they wanted them to do. I get that your person has only saw one side of things, which was their friends, their family's perspective, right? Whatever was containing them inside of this box and, and not allowing them to see your real worth. But now this person is in a different side. They're like, there's two sides to every story. This, this is something where this person is getting ready to take this major chance and explore, you know, opening up to you. 
they don't know where it's going, but they know that as long as they're with you, everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to move forward. So in this time where this person may have separated themselves from you, they've also separated themselves from other people as well, because I feel like there's a sense of self-isolation that we saw in the last reading. And it's because this person is trying to like use their own discernment. This person is, is having this sense of reflection with who you are. And now the people around them are being exposed. The people around them are having a completely different energy where now they're seeing them through a different light. For some of you, this person is going to end up following you on social media or commenting on something of yours. I want you to be a part of my plans. I think that's beautiful. I think that this person is planning for the future and you are the future. Whoever this person is, you know, they've been going through a lot. They've been going through this tower moment. They've been going through a dark night of the soul. They've had to, the last reading, it was the nine of wands. They were waiting just for that last wand so that they could walk away with their baggage. I've just been through a lot and I'm healing. You know, like sometimes we want to be upset because people aren't doing what we want them to do. So we deem them in a sense of being narcissistic or we deem them in a sense of being a horrible person. But that's not the case. I think that we use that term very loosely. Right? Like for me, I feel like sometimes people just need to be loved, but it's not love the way that you love. Sometimes you have to teach this person how to love themselves first. That's why I always say love is the highest frequency of all. And that's love for yourself, that's self-love, that's self-love for other people, that's love for your environment. But it's operating from your heart space. And I feel like whoever this person is, they've been through a lot in their life. A lot. And they've been left alone a lot they've been abandoned they've been cheated on they've had certain things happen in their life that has made them the way that they are but i feel like you've inspired them to open up you've inspired them to let down the wall to peek over to see is it okay is it safe for me to come out and you've really helped heal this person they're still in the process of healing I feel like you've healed each other though, because you can't heal them without healing yourself. It doesn't work like that. Let's go somewhere together. They want to go out. They want to have a good time. You know, this person, whoever they are, they're, they're very interested in making sure like, you know, that they love you. They want to show you how much they love you. If you and this person had a relationship that was more so quiet or secretive, right? Where you guys didn't really talk about it or it wasn't on social media or you didn't go out a lot. This person doesn't want that anymore. They want you to be by their side. If they have to go to a party or, or, or out to get, you know, food or a drink, whatever. It's like, they want you to be a part of it. I will follow you on your social media soon. I'm telling you, this is somebody that is going to actively start taking certain measures to show you that they want to be with you. I want to post a picture of you on social media. You see what I'm saying? It's like they want people to know. They even want their friends to know, listen, this is my person, whether you like it or not. I'm going to follow my own path. I'm going to do what I want to do. I also get too, though, that with this person, they may want you to post a picture of them and you also just because... They want other people to know that you're with them. This is somebody who actively watches your social media if you have one. I can't make it up. Look, I want to post a picture of you on my Instagram. There's something here about this person like wanting to show you off or wanting people to know, hey, we're together. And for some of them, like I said, it's a possessive energy here. I don't want other men or women messaging you. And this may even be you too, where you don't, you know, nobody wants somebody messaging your person or whatever. 
But again, it's coming in as this energy of your mind. We're meant to be. So the idea of anyone coming close to you, it bothers them. And honestly, that that sense of I need to step my game up, that's also what's driving them to make things right. I talked to my family about spending the holidays with you. I feel like this person talks about you a lot more than what you realize, a lot more than, than what you think, especially to their family and their friends. I think that they talk about you and they don't realize it till one of their friends or family are, is like, dude, what's up with this? Like you, you, you keep mentioning them, like why? And then your person doesn't even realize it and they have to take this step back. This person also, whoever you're dealing with, they don't want you to be mad at them. Like they don't like you and them, you being upset with them. It really does bother them. And they're in this energy where they want to reach out to you. They want to make things right. They may ask you to dinner, to get a coffee, to talk, whatever it is. This person is coming in with this energy of, you know, I want to make it right. I want to reach out to you. I'm tired of just talking about this situation and not taking any action, which I kind of like from this person. This is a very action oriented person where they've made up their mind. They're coming out of this hermit mode. What messages do you have for the collective when it comes to this person? Justice. It's weird because I was just thinking of like hermit mode. And for some reason, I kept seeing the justice card and the justice card comes out. You know why? Because this person has had this sense of illumination. This is about karmic retribution, karmic justice, right? Think about it. You've done the right thing thus far and this person hasn't done the right thing with you. This person wants to come in and they want to make it right. I want to show you how much I love you, right? I want other people to acknowledge how much I love you. I want other people to see. So if this person was a player in the past, they want whoever, you know, that they used to deal with, they want them to know like you are theirs and they are yours. Four of Wands energy, Aries energy. They want to provide this stable partnership. For some of you guys, this is entering into a major commitment. The Four of Wands is 11-11, right? It's the gates of heaven. It's a divine partnership. And then you also have justice. This is about balancing out the connection. This is about karmic justice. Good or in, bad or indifferent. But there's a decision that's being made here when it comes to partnership where this person is taking responsibility for their actions and they want to enter into this um, relationship and be stable and have a stable foundation with you because there's a lot of prosperity that comes with this connection. And they know that it doesn't get any better than you. This is um, Jupiter and Leo. With a Jupiter and Leo, right, this person gets what they want by, um, you know, leading with their heart. Abundance, expansion. It comes when this person you know, goes with what they feel like is right. This person is acknowledging you. It's like you and this person, I feel like you guys have been through war. There may have been other people in the mix because the, you know, what, what we're not seeing here is the five of wands. The five of wands to me is kind of like a karmic energy. That's your challenges. That's not even showing up here because you've won. You're the one that they choose. And it may have taken them some time to get to this point, but now they're seeing things very clearly with what the situation is. This card has been coming out consistently, this death energy. There's something here that's ending. Whether this is something physically ending, whether this is a metaphorical uh, passing, whatever it may be, there's something here that's transforming this connection and it's creating a brand new beginning. Four, four, six, four, six, thirteen, six, eleven, eleven, four. This is about growth and an unexpected change in the positive. I'm getting flip the numbers as they need to be flipped. The chariot. Yeah, there's something here that's ending. This person also may be ending this player energy, this single energy, 
this energy where they want everybody to look at them like this playboy, this playgirl, this selfish energy, that's ending. And there's something here about partnership, right? I think the chariot showed up the last reading where it's two opposing energies getting on the same page. It's two separate people, right? And the original tarot, it's like the black uh, sphinx and the white sphinx, I think. Getting on the same page, moving forward together, having this sense of victory. It's the lovers, right? It's the partnership that's finally making the decision that we are going to go through this journey together. We are going to be in the same direction. We're overcoming these obstacles. This person is coming in with all of this beautiful, raw energy. You have wands energy. You have cups energy. You have this justice that's grounding this energy. This person is viewing you as somebody that they can have success with. You've created this spark with this person. And there's something about you that is so attract, like attractive to them. Because you're inspiring them to be different. You're inspiring them to create. There's something that's ending for your person. I don't know what's ending, but there's a major ending coming with death. And during this ending, this person is going to have to be very, very strong. That's also why, you know, God may have kept them away from you for a period of time or spirit, whatever you guys believe in. Because energy is energy. But it's like, I feel like this person was perfect, purposely held away from you so that they could, right, go into this place where they realized that the strength really comes from within. The Empress tames the lion by taming the beast. It's like you've tamed the beast in this person. And they're realizing they don't have to be cold and mean. That your energy is nurturing. That you're not trying to take anything from this person. There is an energy around you. And I do feel like this is kind of twofold with this devil energy coming in. Um, I feel like it's death to the devil. Okay. Um, the toxic attachments. The fixation. The karmic ties. The temptations. The illusions. All of that is breaking down. And I feel like this person knows that they have to be strong in their convictions against this devil energy. I feel like this person is having this sense of illumination with who the real toxic person is. Who is the karmic energy? What do they want? What are their intentions? And a lot is changing. If you take a look here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six major arcana that are out on the table right now. That's very significant. There's a lot that's changing. A lot of energy that's coming in here. It's a lot of wands energy. It's a lot of action. It's a lot of passion. You know, judgment, right? This person is having this major aha moment. This person is having this awakening. This is also reunion. You and this person are going to be coming into reunion very, very quickly. But I also think too that the truth had to be illuminated to them before they can make this move towards you. Now it's resurrecting this energy. It's coming back, but it's coming back in like almost like a reincarnation where whoever they were in the past, there had to be this death of an ego, right? This dark night of the soul. And now this person is having this major rebirth, this major ascension. This is very shocking. This person may also um, be coming forward to admit something to you, to be honest. It's a lot of Saturn energy, Saturn and Jupiter energy. See, this Scorpio energy coming in with this, with this that's so impactful. Because see, the devil is being illuminated. This person is seeing who's really their friend and who isn't. They're also looking at you as this wish fulfillment. But I also feel like the nine of cups, again, it's Jupiter energy. They're realizing that when they're happy, they attract abundance. 
what makes me happy what puts me in a good frequency right i think life is an algorithm once you figure out the algorithm it becomes easy that's one thing my dad always said to me life is easy when you just do the right things and i would try to always explain to him yeah but what about this and he'd say no you're overcomplicating it keep it simple go back to the basics lead from a heart space and I feel like that's what this person is doing. And when they're having this major aha moment, this judgment moment of, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this person. This is the person I'm meant to be with. This is a person I'm meant to build an empire with, to build a family with, to reunite our families together, whatever it may be. This person is no longer conflicted with the toxic energy that tried to hold them back in the past. Yeah, it's a past energy. Whether that's a karmic attachment, whether that's a person, a place, a thing, a way of thinking, whatever was negative is being exposed here. And this person is having this major realization. Wow, look how the cards fell out. And all of my cards are upright. The three of pentacles and the five of wands. Remember I said here, I think it's interesting how the four goes to the six, that the five of wands at the competition Whoever was standing in the way of you guys, all the other people, friends, whoever denied this connection, they're dissipating. This is no longer a challenge. This is no longer an obstacle. This person is removing the drama from their life because they've been doing the work. They've realized they've made a decision. Mars and Capricorn, this is somebody that's very, very determined to have this new start with you. This is somebody that's determined to have this expansion. We have a lot of karma and a lot of Jupiter energy here, right? Saturn and Jupiter energy. Um, let's see things from their perspective. But with a lot of karma or karma, Saturn and Jupiter energy, when this person does the right thing, the universe or God is going to reward them, right? They're going to reward them for taking the steps in the right direction, for taking the steps, you know, towards their higher purpose with inside of this connection. How does this person view the collective and their situation romantically? The King of Cups. They're in a very emotional state right now. This is somebody that knows that they have to be emotionally intuitive and emotionally intelligent. This is also somebody that's very devoted. How, how do they view themselves in this connection with the collective? Okay. The Empress. And how do they view, how do they, the tower wanted to come out? You know what? I almost feel like this Empress energy is your energy. Because, but also too, things are reversing because now this person is being more emotional where they feel like you need to receive some type of emotional fulfillment. How are they viewing the collective right now in the situation with them? They're very focused on you. The Ace of Pentacles love this energy because like in the reading we saw it's all wands so they're getting ready to take action but right now they're in a place where they're coming forward with a very grounded energy if this was all wands too i would be worried about this person coming in and coming out very quickly but the fact that we have pentacles here it's like this person is trying to lay the groundwork for your connection or your relationship what's blocking this connection right now or what What's blocking this connection right now? It's this person taking this leap of faith. The Ten of Wands. Remember we talked about the Ten of Wands? It's just them saying, okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm walking away. It's their baggage. I think for a lot of them, it's their baggage. What is, um, what does this person want to, what are they thinking about heavily when it comes to the collective? The five of pentacles. Oh, that makes me sad. They miss you. This person thinks a lot about you. You know, they feel like with you, they were supposed to give during times and they didn't. And that's why now they feel like they've lost you. It's a lot of pentacle energy. Show me what are what are what action are they planning on taking towards the collective? What what action are they planning on taking towards this collective? All right. Wow. Look at this. The Three of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. This is reunion, but they're going to come forward with something very solid. 
again with the pentacle energy and it's coming in with pentacles and cups so something grounding but also something very emotional before i continue all of this is going to be available on vimeo and the link for that will be in the comment section below this is a great if this reading does resonate and you want a little further um understanding to the way that your person processes things this is great because it's seeing things from their perspective from their psyche um and it's seeing things it's, it's almost like the way that they're thinking so if you know the way that they're thinking it almost helps you take your emotions out of it because you're realizing like what their thought process is it's great all right let's see and what is this person um what are they what are their intentions with the collective the king of wands to take charge look and the emperor this person is getting ready that's why it was weird because right now they're in this energy where it's almost like you know you've been giving to them but now their intentions are to turn around and give to you i'm really excited to see honestly about their intentions and, and and what they're doing exactly to work towards this because with that three of pentacles that's a very dedicated energy where it's like i'm not gonna fail mars and capricorn gets it done every time it's a very determined energy and what is the collective's advice right now when it comes to this person wow the two of swords in reverse if you have them blocked, I would unblock them. Okay. Um, also, too, this is about you making a decision or you coming to having some type of clarity on this connection. So all of this is going to be in available in the extended. We go over each card. We clarify. Plus, we pull oracle messages as well to help us understand um, the way that your pers person is processing this information. Um, with that being said, this is your reading. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. For those of you guys that are having, heading over to Vimeo, let's roll. Click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you guys can purchase the reading. If you want to pick up the Neon Awakening or any of my other tarot decks, you're more than welcome to do so. You can click the link somewhere up here. Or you can also check out the description that has all the cards that are used um, as well as um, the website where you guys can book a personal reading or pick up a candle or whatever else you guys are looking for along your spiritual journey. With that being said, I love you so much. I wish you nothing but love, light, and so much success. Keep your head up. Keep positive. There's amazing things that are coming. Things are changing. And it's only a matter of time before you really see what's coming right there's something here very beautiful